I love getting inspired by different gaming setups, all of the different aesthetics and colors and clutter. So today we're actually gonna to attempt to create three completely different gaming setups from the same shell in The Sims 4. And all of them are gonna be inspired by the Logitech G Aurora collection. They actually send me a huge box of goodies. I will leave the unboxing video down below. It was so much fun to go through everything. And the entire collection has such a beautiful aesthetic, really beautiful colors, so vibrant. And I think it will make great inspiration for our gaming rooms today. So let's just jump into The Sims and see what we can do. Okay, wait, but before we get started, I have to wear the Logitech G Aurora Collection. These are the G735 wireless headset. They are customizable. I have all of the colors. I think we're gonna go with green today. All right, so this is gonna be the shell that we're working with. I think it's a decent sized gaming setup. We have a five by four room here. We got a blank canvas with white walls, this light wood floor, and I'm gonna try to keep the window placement the same in all of the shells. So we're gonna actually start start with the green gaming setup inspired by obviously this green shade and what springs to mind instantly is plant lover i want to absolutely fill this shell with plants i want wall plants ceiling plants floor plants table plants window plants okay first things first we have to use these I'm also thinking we need to do like a feature wall, a green wall of some sort. This mint green here comes to mind. We could do something a little deeper. I feel like that's maybe a bit too dark. Mm, or we could do something a little brighter. No, you know what? I think maybe let's go with more of a muted green. We can tie in some more neon green later. Oh wait, do you know what pack would be amazing for this neon green color is the pastel pop kit. I actually think this is gonna be perfect for all of the rooms. We have these things, these tables with some really fun colors that is absolutely perfect so we could either do that one here or maybe against this wall we also have a smaller coffee table version we could do that in this corner feel like we're gonna need an armchair here actually wait we need a desk first things first we need the desk this is not a gaming room without a desk okay for table i think we should complement the light wood floors maybe go with something light wood do we do it against this wall or we could flip it and do here but you know what i actually think it could be fun to maybe do a desk in the middle of the room. Ooh, this desk has a perfect swatch and then we can do it right in the middle. Then we got this white gaming chair here, which looks so sleek, fits nicely in there. I'm thinking actually we could do something with height in this corner, maybe a bookshelf. Okay, this bookshelf matches the wood perfectly. And then I'm gonna push this up against here and then I'm keeping those corners free so we can do lots of plants. Well, we do have a bit of a dead space in this corner. Why don't we put a couch? See, this is a super pretty couch and I love this woven material. I feel like it goes with the garden vibe really well. Wait, do you know what we can include? The absolute mirror of dreams. And I know we have some fun swatches. And we have a green swatch, which is almost the exact shade of the headset. Why don't we put that in this corner? Let's maybe delete the coffee table and we can put that in like this. Oh my God, it's so good. We definitely need something on this wall. So I've just brought the desk back and I think we can still squeeze in an armchair. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to do that one because it matches with the sofa really well. And then above it, I think we can do some green artwork. I know that the pastel pop kit has, there you go, some more fun green artwork. These LED lights from the high school years pack are so fun and there's so many swatches. I feel like a star could be cute. I feel like in this corner, maybe behind the mirror, we could do one of those hanging plants from the Blooming Rooms kit. And then we have this plant here. This one is from the Get Famous pack. I love that. I think we could maybe try to squeeze it in this corner if I scooch everything along. Yes, perfect. There is definitely enough space for that. Okay, we do have a bit of a blank wall, which I need to fill. So I'm thinking we could do maybe shelves because we already have artwork on this side. We're just gonna do some gaming clutter on it. We've got a lot with the high school pack. Two like this or... Oh yeah, we could do two rows. No, I think actually let's do something more interesting like these two shapes. Yeah, there you go. And one of the artworks has plants in it. <gasps> this! This is perfect! Okay, we could do this one here like that. Brings a bit of height to make it a little bit more balanced with the bookshelf. It's coming together! I think the only thing now that's missing is clutter and a carpet. Actually, maybe something from the high school years pack is... I think we could do with a little poof down here. Mm, okay, high school years didn't have one, but we have this one from Nifty Knitting, which is the perfect shade of green. And now we can filter by high school years and add all of the gaming and streaming stuff. 
I found the perfect carpet. I kind of want it a bit bigger, but that's too big. So what I'm tempted to do is maybe to do two of them. See how they look side by side. I feel like we can get away with that. <gasps> yes, we can. Oh my God, that's perfect. Oh, I love these artwork. These are from Tiny Living and I feel like they just fit really nicely in that space. I'm also going through and adding some clutter now. So we've gone with a lot of boxes underneath this table. Just, I just feel like it's so realistic. So much equipment. We need a lot of storage. We got this fun clutter set here also from high school years. And I put some candles on top of this table. I'll just scooch them over. On the desk, we have this little arrangement here. We have some headphones. Headphones now are gonna be next to the plan. And I think we are almost done. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Definitely a plant lover vibe. The green is definitely not subtle, but I feel like it still feels kind of, it's still pretty. <gasps> I'm so happy with it. Okay, so our first gaming setup inspired by the Logitech G Aurora collection is finished. And now we're gonna take the exact same shell and do something completely different. Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking we go with pink. It's a really pretty like pearly pink and especially the mic has a really nice shine to it, which is why I'm kind of tempted to go with this, which is like a faded pink. It has a really nice gradient to it, which kind of looks like the light is reflecting off of it. We could do the entire room with pink actually, instead of just doing a feature wall. So rather than having the desk right in the middle, why don't we push the desk up into the corner? We could do a corner desk. This is also another light wood. And I'm pretty sure we have, we have a pink chair somewhere. We could do this pink chair. Oh no, wait, this one without the lights. We could do that pink chair there. I mean, we have to take the same pink mirror. We have to. I feel like we could probably try to use this mirror across all the builds and also filtering by pastel pop we have this really fun pink bookshelf which i think could fit really nicely in that corner and then we have this aesthetic rug in pink and white which i feel like we could maybe do a seating area in this corner considering here is going to be the desk i'm going to be using pastel pop and high school years so much in these three builds because high school years has this really cute armchair and sofa set i love the pop of yellow that we can do i'm gonna shove that in here we'll do that like this and then this coffee table is is gorgeous. Again, pink and yellow fade. We could maybe do that in the middle. And then I found this cute little poof. I'm not a fan of the face, but we could turn it around and have it like this. Feel like we could maybe do a little coffee table in the side, in this little corner. Okay, we just have this custom content one, which actually matches the desk perfectly. I think we could do a lamp on it. I don't know whether to do a standing lamp or one of the lava lamps. Do we feel like this is the build for a lava lamp? It does kind of bring in the neon mirror a little bit, so that could be fun. Mm, wait, other options are these gorgeous candles that we have. These are custom content, but they're so fun. I think we should probably do these. I love the glass base that they have. Looks like something you'd find maybe on Etsy or Pinterest. Okay, so we're gonna do those two candles and we do, we do need curtains and we need something on this wall. For curtains, we could do these. Mm, I don't love them. I feel like maybe something a bit more. Ooh, the tassels are a good option. Not in blue, but we do have a pink. Oh yeah, pink is good. Or white. No, pink. We're gonna go with pink. <gasps> Wait, speaking of candles, we need to include these two. I feel like maybe, maybe uh, on this corner. Maybe they also have an Etsy store, this gamer. I think we could also squeeze a plant in this corner. That feels like a good place for it. And I'm thinking, I did actually really like that neon light that we had before with the lava lamp. And I know high school years has those LED, like those wall panels. I'm just gonna filter by this pack again and then pull out loads of fun clothes. Like these things we could include. We could do, ooh, that's kind of cute. These, these wall panels. So we can do them kind of like this in a cool shape. And then we do have pink that we could do like that. <gasps> that's kind of nice. And it brings in the yellow that we have, the accent color. Ooh, this heart artwork fits perfectly underneath this LED panel as well. And I've just found another swatch actually of this LED where the yellow starts at the bottom and fades to pink. I think that's a little nicer. Okay, then I've pulled out some clutter that we can add to the desk. So we have this one. We have some magazines, which we can do maybe in the corner. We have the pink headphones. And then we have this little speaker here. <gasps> Perfect. And that is it. That is our pink gaming room done. This one feels really fun. It feels a little more cluttered actually than the other one, but I love that there's more of a neon vibe to it. I love the LED wall panels. And we have a cute little seating area here, which is really cozy. So last but not least, we have the cloud white theme gaming room. So this one we can maybe try to bring in, I would say a little bit of blue to get across like that cloud aesthetic, but maybe we go much softer.
softer and much lighter and easier on the eye, maybe more relaxing. So we could do something really soft and pastel blue or this one here, or, or we push the boat out a little bit and we actually do a cloud wallpaper like this one. <gasps> Shall we? I mean, I'm inspired by this. This for me is gonna be the inspiration for this room. It's so soft and spongy. I feel like it could be fun to do this one. Also, I know we've already used this light, but this cloud, this cloud, this cloud kind of reminds me of a light. So I feel like that could be good. Something else that comes to mind actually are these chairs. These are armchairs by a House of Harleks living room collection. They just remind me of the clouds. So I feel like we're gonna have to include them somewhere. We could maybe do two side by side like that. But where are we going to put this desk? Let's not do an L-shaped desk. Let's do something. This could be a good option, but I feel like it could be fun to try to use this one. <gasps> I love the swatches of this gaming chair. <gasps> That's beautiful with the brown. Ooh, okay, you know what? I had this idea to maybe have the chairs to the back of a console table. So you kind of use it as a bit of a room divider. And then I would imagine then that there's gonna be a TV on this side. I feel like that could be something a bit different to the other layout that we have. And then I pulled out a few other things. We could do this little coffee table here to match the uh, console table that we didn't use. I don't wanna use this anymore, but then of course we're gonna integrate the white mirror. I do love this console table, but I'm not crazy about it in this space. I think we could do something a little softer where we have this. Yes, this is better with the rounded edges. I also thought that of course, because this is all about coziness, we have to have a blanket basket. I feel like that would be perfect in this space. And then this mirror, I don't know, I don't think we need another mirror in here, but it's kind of looks like a cloud shaped mirror. So I feel like it could be fun to include. We actually have cloud LEDs from the high school pack. They're called Neon Dreams. Shall we include them maybe as the feature wall on this side? They are kind of subtle. They blend into the white wall a little bit, but I think that's really pretty. Um, I also realized I have accidentally deleted our window. So I'll get the window back in and then we need white curtains and definitely the curtains are gonna be so important in making the space look kind of dreamy. These definitely do a good job of that. That's one option or we could do ones that are open and kind of draping <gasps> or these. These are from, are these base? I think these are base game. Yeah, these are the base game ones in plain white. Yeah, that looks really pretty. For carpet, I think we're gonna need something white. I'm kind of tempted actually to do the fluffy rug. I feel like the fluffy rug brings in the cozy vibe. Oh wait, no, the blue is really nice. It just breaks up that white and the light wood nicely. So we're gonna do blue. I also just realized, I think we actually have a cloud light. We do. Oh my God, we actually do. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go pull out a little bit of clutter and I will be back. Okay, we've added minimal clutter to the cabinet here. This light, I think this is, we have a few different versions of this light. This is growing together. We also have one down here with werewolves. Two books, two sets of books, and we have a couple of plants that I've scattered around just to bring in some, some green. I also decided that this wall, it was looking a little boring, just white. White. So we've gone with like this matching blue shade and then they get a massive TV screen and that is it That is our sky cloud white themed gaming room and that is all three rooms done Definitely feels like three different personalities. Let me know what your favorite gaming room is Thank you so much to Logitech G for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't seen the unboxing video I don't know if it's out yet, but I will leave that link down below if it is and I will see you all in my next video Bye.